Coach, what did you like? What did you not like about this first preseason game from your team? Uh, yeah, I, I thought, you know, the first group, second group, a lot of positives. I think uh, we were up by 14 points midway through the third quarter uh, when we went kind of to our third unit, if you will, and uh, they closed 18 to 5. And then the two things that we really got to clean up, obviously, the turnovers, I think uh, 24 for 27 points. Not going to beat anybody when you beat yourself. And the second thing was the rebounding. 17 0 boards allowed for 18 points. And those were two points of emphasis coming into this preseason, this training camp, is that we have to be a better defensive rebounding team. And uh, so, but uh, overall, first first game, uh, I thought the starters did a really nice job out there. I thought that second unit had some good minutes as well. And um, you know, we'll be better come Sunday. Next, we'll go to Reem. Hi, Coach. Okay. Hey. Uh, Reem from the National and AFP. Um, it was Russell's first game with you guys. I'm just wondering, uh, how, how did you feel about how he played? Yeah, I thought, you know, uh, Russell had some good moments out there. Obviously, um, playing downhill, putting pressure on the defense, getting his teammates involved. Um, you know, so overall, for his first game after, you know, a week or so of practice, you know, I think there were definitely some positives. And like everybody else in that locker room, there are plenty of things that we can clean up as well. Um, but, you know, every, every time we go into a game, it's an opportunity for us to get better and establish our identity. And we'll watch the film tomorrow and, uh, and learn, from, uh, you know, learn from our mistakes. Hi, Coach. Uh, this is Hussein Alawi from Switch Podcast. Um, adding this year Darius Saric as a power forward um, and losing KCP. Um, what, what is the strength added? What is the value added from uh, Darius Saric? A uh, veteran, you know, a guy who has a tremendously high IQ, knows how to play the game. Um, we love his versatility. He played backup five tonight. He played backup four tonight. Um, he's skilled. You can run your offense through him just like we do with Nicola at times. Uh, big, strong, physical, uh, knocks down the three-point shot. Um, so I think when we added two veterans in Dario Sarge and Russell Westbrook, you know, you lose a guy like KCP, it's always a tough loss. But we feel that we added two veterans that have um, been around winning teams in a winning environment, so only going to help our cause. Thank you. Hi, Coach. Um, this is Sean from Fairway World. Um, what are your thoughts on Jokic's performance, especially the preparedness he's had to come into a game like that in such a small time, have such an impactful run? Well, yeah, he's uh, he's a great player. Obviously, um, Nicole is a great player, and you marvel at his greatness because he can beat you with his scoring, he can beat you with his playmaking, he can beat you with his rebounding, and I also think he had some really good defensive possessions tonight. So, um, you know, I think about both he and Jamal. They had busy off seasons playing in the Olympics. And uh, so we want to make, you know, try to be smart with his minutes. But overall, I thought Nicole did a lot of good things out there. And as I said earlier about Russell, there's some things that we can clean up as well. Hi, Coach. Uh, Solus from Lithuania, TV3 and Go3. Uh, Coach, what are you looking forward for the next game? And this game, the main key aspects you want to change in your team? Because it's preseason games. You can't focus on everything. But the most important thing you want to do better yeah, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, I mean, obviously, the, the defensive rebounding. You know, we, we gave up way too many uh, second-chance opportunities. We were ball-watching. We weren't hitting anybody. And uh, I think we gave up. They shot a lot of threes, and we gave up seven offense rebounds on their missed threes. So that means long shots, long rebounds. We've got to make sure we're doing a better job of that. And then the turnovers. You know, uh, you, you're going to expect some turnovers. First time we're playing against an opposing team in a, in a live atmosphere, but... Uh, you know, 24 turnovers and you give up 27 points, um, you know, that number is not going to let you win many games. So we've got to clean that up as well. Those two are probably the biggest concerns that I would have. Thank you. Uh, Coach Dmitry Tarasky from Godball. Uh, how satisfied are you with the uh, work you guys did this off season? I mean, working on your weaknesses and generally speaking, watching to, to throw this new season? Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, you know, we, we have a, a core, core group coming back of veterans. We've got some new young players coming in, and we've got some veterans that I mentioned in Daria and Russell. And, uh, you know, you lose in the playoffs, a tough game seven at home. And, uh, you know, that motivates all of us to come back better as uh, individuals and collectively. So um, we've identified the areas where we have to improve and never be satisfied with the areas that we did well. Always push ourselves to continue to be the best that we can be. So... Um, as I mentioned earlier, there was some real positive in this game. We are up by 14 midway through the third quarter, and that's when kind of things went downhill and, uh, and they kind of took control of the game. But 
um, we'll, we'll try to be better come Sunday before we head home. Uh, Michael, where do you see Vlatko Chanchar and Zeke Naji kind of in relation to the rotation right now, and what can um, you I'll kind of hope to see from them in the rest of the preseason games? Yeah, I mean, um, it's one game, so we'll continue to give guys different looks. You know, obviously Vlatko played with the second unit tonight. Zeke was out there with the third. And, uh, you know, we'll try to switch that up moving forward. Good evening. Uh, Nikola Stojkovic, Mozart Sport Serbia. Um, can we expect to maybe see uh, Dario Šaric and Nikola Jokic playing together in the next game? And what do you think they can bring on the court when they are uh, together? Yeah, uh, whether it happens next game or not, I have no idea. You know, we'll, uh, you know we're going to watch the film and get ready for that game and see uh, you know, who's able to play in that game and what pairings that we want. But bigger picture, yes, they will play together at some point. You know, obviously, as I mentioned earlier with Dario, uh, he's been a backup five now in his NBA career, but he can still play the four. And now if you have both those guys out there together, you have two capable playmakers, high IQ, very skilled, that can make plays for themselves, but also, more importantly, make plays for their teammates. And, uh, you know, that also flows into the defensive end of the floor. Um, so, yeah, Dario and Nicole will get chances to play. And, uh, you know, I think they'll be able to complement each other out there. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, everybody.